Well, I think I just witnessed the weirdest handshake of the tournament so far. Yeah. What would you say? I'm sorry. One of them went in for a uh, fist bump and the other one grabbed their hand. Oh, <laughs> they did the smasher. You'd think that Smash players would have a little bit better of uh, hand-eye coordination, but here we are. Bet better reactions, if you would. Next takes the, uh, the early percent. Yeah, yeah. So, I think recently these two people actually reached their 100th set each other yeah wow. yeah that's so, impressive yeah so they play a lot um i don't know the exact record i know it's next favored um but i don't know quite exactly like what the percentage is but lately they've been playing like a lot in terms of being even so we're gonna see a lot of good stuff here so i'm, I'm excited to have, a, have this awesome set i've been really blessed or i think we've all been really blessed to see such great smash today uh for the first event of the semester yeah, so just playing some neutral, getting some spare hits here. Let's try to get the S-Smash there. Dash attack. Ooh. That was a down smash. I think he killed him there. I'm going to try to move this over a little bit so I can see a little bit. There we go. Oh. So... One of the things I love watching about Next Play is the way that she plays around the ledge and her ledge trapping, especially the way she kind of like drifts around and then grabs you. It's very, very unique to when I'm watching her play it. And it's just such a, it, every time I see it, it just tickles my brain. So, but we're gonna see the up air strings, a hey, up air into the air a few times. Spouts around like that. Yeah, that was an ill advised nair, and unfortunately gets a back air, back throw, back bear there. Or down throw bear, sorry. Now TD's doing a ledge chopping with his own right now. But next gets back on the stage, so we're gonna set the neutral here and catch the down tilt. <laughs> it's a spot touch stack throw. <laughs> oh, it's such like a subtle thing because I know Next does that a good bit where it's kind of like the little roll or like kind of the pivot to the back throw uh, at the ledge there. And I think it's like such a cool thing because it's like you unfortunately, unlike other Smash games, you can't run through people. So I think it's clever how like players kind of play around it to make like kind of the illusion if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Council. This is a trump. This could be trouble. So the card's back on the stage then. The down tilt somehow hits an LP. And then it resets the neutral here again. Next just keeps increasing their weed. Yeah, yeah. And like, playing against a player as confident as Next, you know, that just happens. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, you just get steamrolled. Not that TD yeah. isn't very, very capable, but Next sometimes is, has just played so many times and is just such a consistent player. Yeah, yeah. But you can kind of see just even in the first game how they maneuvered around each other that they really, really know each other's play, mm -hmm. which is cool to see. It's cool to see people who like play each other so much, and you can see the little details. It's like it gives you a sense of when you practice and actually learn the matchup against someone, you can really get a sense of developing your play style along with another person. So I imagine they feel the same way as well. Looks like we're probably gonna go back to the... Oh, all about to... See what modded state, modded song we're gonna go with today. I guess we're just gonna tire the music, so it's not gonna be too modded today. I know there's, there's being shown in some way that you can check players against each other. I don't know how. Though. Yeah, there's um another website. It's called uh PD that's, Stats. Okay, that's not start that you got to it. Yeah, um, I think you can do it through there, but it's a little more convenient, like how way it's presented through PG Stats. So I, I would at least recommend it. That's why you should look at it. I just didn't remember the website that I was being shown. On. Yeah, yeah, no, I gotcha. No worries, no worries. 
That was the that was the first one, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you for being on top of that. <laughs> right. So we're gonna see a lot of these kind of floating around each other, trying to play neutral. Oh, nice little parry. Oh, I like the way again she tried to go for that like kind of big uh, tomahawk grab there, but unfortunately didn't grab anything off it. Good side B off of them then. Yeah. It's just so hard to recover against these players and get back on stage, but they're so good at also maneuvering around the ledge trapping that they just like get back. So it's interesting to see. Again, it's just like one of those nuances you just see from these two playing against each other so much. All right, and I just pulled it up, and uh, Next versus TD have played 108 times. <laughs> Next winning 82 of those. Yeah. What? So they're still 26 losses. Like, T and especially as of late, TD's been playing a lot, lot better. Um, from watching their recent sets, like it seems like TD. I don't want to say he has the number on her because I don't know if that's the case, but I just like at least it seems a lot closer than it used to be, and that these two are very, very good players just overall. Pair of car keys. Any keychains in particular? TD once again took the first stock at a high percentage. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Last match he. Uh, fell pretty soon after, but it seems like he's bringing up some percent and making uh, use of this third stock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure, for sure. He gets, gets a fair off of him. So far, this match is leading his way. Yeah. I've been seeing a little... Wow. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I was just saying, wow. <laughs> yeah, I've been seeing Nex kind of grimace a lot throughout this game, specifically. It seems like some of her execution has just been a little off. It looks like she's hesitating just a little bit on certain things that's unfortunately when you hesitate even a little bit against a player as good as TD, you're just going to lose socks for it. Yeah. And TD just kind of running away with the momentum here. Once you get past the quarterfinals, mistakes are they're, they're really, uh, I, the word's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't think of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I, I get what you mean. Just like the aura changes a lot and you can tell like how tense things are. Just by the fact like you're just playing players who have everything together mm -hmm. and when you're up in that echelon, but you yourself if don't have If you make a here. mistake, they will take advantage of that 100%. Exactly, exactly. But, I just bring up a little more momentum, momentum here, kind of just taking things back to the basics. Hitting the straight hits, trying to edge guard here. It doesn't quite get anything, though. But it's good state position. She's just parries are so, so crazy. Oh my goodness. It was all the way out. So, the timing that these two have under their control is incredible. Yeah, yeah. And this is just a few nares away, so... Uh, well, no, no. I guess there's only one nair away. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so... Good now stuff. all tied up at 1-1. One, one. Yeah, yeah. So, good stuff from TD, for sure. It looks like Next is kind of getting the rhythm towards the end, though. So, I imagine the rest of the set, they're going to be playing pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, which is good to see. It's good to see, definitely. <laughs> I respect the effort of every time you go to a stage during a set, you still counterpick like the music. Because to me, like even as someone who doesn't use earbuds, I just like I'm like whatever song's fine. I I can listen to the same Animal Crossing song for the seventh <laughs> time. It's just how it be sometimes. So, what do you think we're going to be seeing a lot of during this next game? I don't know. I feel like it, anything can happen at this point. That's fair. That's fair. Both very explosive players who are just, as you mentioned before, such good at like spacing and positioning and everything. So, just leads to some crazy moments like that freaking fast tilt grab thing. That was kind of crazy right there. Oh my goodness. It's a good burst option there. Again, there's just ledge trapping. I'm just kind of seeing what TD's going to do next. But the pairing there, too. To have the awareness to go for the side view is kind of crazy.
And you don't always see a ton of auto radical from Nex, but it seems like every time that she does auto radical, it's really good at setting up kind of the next positioning to frame trapping a little bit, I guess you could say. Just kind of bunny hopping around right now. Ooh. Oh, wow. That was impressive. Send them to the Shadow Realm, as the kids <laughs> say. Well, tried to go for the pivot. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and the throw. <laughs> I heard I was waiting for you to do it. <laughs> Going there, train on your own. Into a forward air. I'm gonna get a combo here too. Oh, just barely clips him with the up air too. So it kind of parries and airs it away. Ooh. The up tilt, down tilt there. She's doing a really good job at like kind of controlling the stage and like watching next landings, but actually able to kind of recover. Gets a really, really full grab there, and might be able to get an edge guard here. But just turns a little edge. Oh, oh my goodness! The timing there was crazy. Yeah. Oh, wow. just barely gets a down tilt there to get the back air, and it's just a matter of. Seeing like players who are this good, you can just tell they kind of like read with patience. Because you watch a lot of players who just kind of jump into something like that. But next is like, I'm just gonna wait a second. We're gonna see what TD's gonna do right here. I got all night, it's only like 9.30. <laughs> are we had a we had a great uh, we had a ton of people come out today, which was fantastic. We had a bracket of 68, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Someone someone told me it was around that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no, again, for the first event of the semester, it's just so nice to see people come out and like be able to play games with each other. Oh. And then you also get people who play all the time, like it's play. Yeah. <laughs> but certainly nothing wrong with that, as next week, or sorry, TD evens with the stocks here. Let's see if TD can get something started. Almost gets a continuation off the up air there, but unfortunately doesn't get anything off of it. <laughs> and again, just waiting and waiting for that back air there. <laughs> Both players are laughing at it. They're having some fun. Yeah. That's honestly what these events are all about. It's having fun, meeting some new people, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think it's just cool because then you end up going to an event and meeting someone called the Money Man. He just dresses <laughs> up in a suit and just plays Captain Falcon. Because I remember, like, I, as, as like the, the nosy alumni, I was like, okay, what are the freshmen, like how they're playing, or just like how are even just people who didn't play before playing? And someone was like, bro, this guy named the Money Man, he's a Falcon player. Money I'm like, maker. Money Maker, Money thank maker. you, thank you. And I was like, that's the type of man I want to meet in bracket. <laughs> But uh, we're going to Hollow Bastion. Very, very popular stage. I've seen them, uh, these two specifically, play it a lot. Uh, it's just very, very good neutral stage. I, th I think so. I think this is the second time they've come back to it. I think either the first or the second match was on this stage. Yeah, yeah, I believe so. you're right. Oh, good ledge trapping. Gets the last again. one. I don't believe it was the last one. Unless it's already left my memory. <laughs> <laughs> There's just so much to think about. Yeah. Cool. And you're just gonna have pressure with the Nair there. You're gonna kind of try to force him to do something crazy. Yeah, just the pivots that Next does. I, I know it's probably not even that crazy of a other thing to do, but it just like blows my mind. But TD's trying to push the envelope there a little bit, put the pressure on. What? That's just like setting things back up, and that could be a stop. That's yep. it. Both players laughing, but that's it's still crazy how Next can just like be so consistent with her punishes and her mix-up and her landings and everything. And it, it seems like the um, all the matches he's played today have started to get to him a little bit. TD, mm -hmm. it's hard to stay consistent when you when it's your 12th or 13th match of the day. Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure. That's why it's awesome to have big brackets. There's also the caveat of, oh, I have to play even more sets than I'm used to. 
part of being a player who's going to be in winter semis is definitely having that consistency, which both do, but it looks like Nex is just kind of like going a little above that right now. I'm sure Nex is used to playing eight hours a day straight. Yeah, I, I don't know. She could be. She's got a head could. nod. <laughs> I remember in the one like Facebook chat I was in, someone was like, yeah, I just got done with a 12-hour pra practice session. Oh my Practice? Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. I was like, why would you do that to yourself? How can you even focus that yeah. long? Face spot, face the air dodge there. And just kind of going to back to the ledge. And the back air is going to take it. I feel like that back air is just so inevitable when you're trying to get back on stage like that. Next now up a whole stock. Mm -hmm. And you get the combo started here. It could be a danger. It could be danger for sure. Definitely not something you want to see. Oh, is that it? Nope. We have to see something incredible from TD. Hey, Alex. <laughs> our, our, re our resident Falco melee player. We got second today. Uh, just said goodbye. Uh, that was a melee. Had a fun bracket for there too. Oh my goodness. Edge cancel. So this is hard uh, for sure. What? So you can get some hits here, get a combo. Might be able to bring it back a little bit. Ooh. Yeah, at this point, when you have a lead like this, you can kind of yeah. swing like that. Uh, and that's gonna yeah, be up, and that's good. All right. Well, good stuff to next here. Let's set what 109, I believe it is. Uh, yeah, 109 matches now. Yeah. Three wins to next. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna see. And that just shows you how consistent of a player next is. Yeah, yeah. And like I keep saying though, like TD certainly an excellent player in his own right. It's just very impressive. Yeah, yeah. And like you'd see a lot of players play against next. I've seen personally a lot of players play against next and. They don't I, don't do that. I don't think as I don't. Um, I, of course, they've played the most, but I don't think any other player has more than twenty wins against Next. Yeah, so. yeah, that's a good point. I guess that kind of puts it in perspective. Like, I certainly do not have <laughs> twenty wins against Next. I know you just came into this area, but I don't know if you. Have I know about C minus. Right, bit. right, right. But yeah, so I'm not sure. <laughs> not sure what's next, but uh, I guess we're gonna see. I guess it would be. I don't think we're gonna do winners finals. I think it's gonna be something in losers. I'm kind of just. I'm waiting to be told by people who are actually supposed to be responsible. Yes, yeah. I'm trying to pull up the bracket right now. Mm -hmm. I guess there's someone. Uh, I believe. I believe it is a uh, next and fast. Yeah, yeah, so that'd be winners. I don't think we're gonna play winners just yeah, yet. But that's but we're probably going to losers now. If yeah, I'm, yeah. I just yeah. Much. My bracket has now frozen. So it's either I manage to pull this up in time or an event manager comes over and tells us. But. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. As as much as I appreciate Mowersville University. And the wonderful resources they give us. Sometimes the reception can be a little rough. Yeah. <laughs>